Okay, so now we have an environmental FE question and looking at chemical compatibility. So this is one you want to make sure you know how to do before taking the environmental FE exam because it can be really easy points that you can get because all we do is use a chart. So what we're doing here is looking at chemical compatibility between two or more substances or chemicals. So we know an hazard can occur when a chemical suddenly mixed or comes into contact with another chemical. This can result in a violent reaction or uh, something unintended and we did not expect. And these are actually the reactions that can be produced is in the chemical compatibility chart and we will look at that in just a second. So we know these are undesired and typically unintentional reactions. Some examples is strong acids and strong bases or when we have water reactive materials where we have sodium metal and water or when we have five pyrophoric materials such as iron sulfide and oxygen and here pyrophoric is basically saying any substance that can easily ignite so easily ignites when exposed to oxygen when close I'll say close to oxygen maybe that's an important definition you would want to know for pyrophoric materials so these are substances that are, can easily or instantly ignite when close to oxygen and let's look at the word compatible when we're looking at chemical compatibility compatible means components or substances do not react with each other so compatible is good right compatible is good when we have compatible not compatible means the substances or components react with each other so that's going to be something we do not want we have a violent reaction in that case compatible not compatible so now let's actually solve this question using the EPA compatibility chart what is most likely to result when mixing amides and oxidizing mineral acids so we're mixing two things here the amides and oxidizing mineral acids so we will use the EPA chemical compatibility chart to solve this question and we know this one looks a little different I just found it online from the EPA but you have the very same exact one in the handbook on page 25 so it's gonna be on page 25 in FE handbook 10.0.1 handbook 10.0.1 so page 25 and here we know we have amides and we have oxidizing mineral acids so let's highlight these so let's find the amides we know that's going to be number six so the amides is number six and the other chemical we said is the oxidizing mineral acids right here we have acids mineral non-oxidizing and the bottom one will be the oxidizing one so it, it will be number two so what we would do is highlight this number two and make sure you denote the two here so all you do in this case you just go to the number two because it's for the oxidizing mineral acids two and we know for amides it's going to be here so all we do is start from the top and go to the bottom and see where we intersect it would be here it would be in this region so we have HGT so we're gonna have heat generation that occurs and we have toxic gas formation as well so that's what occurs when we mix the amides and the acids that are mineral acids oxidizing so for example let's do another one let's throw one um let's do halogen in actually let's do some metals so let's do metals alkali earth metal elements and let's mix that with halogenated organics so what would happen so here we have halogenated organics it's 17 
And let's say I want to mix it. What I'm asking, what happens when we mix it with metals that are alkali, alkaline earth, elemental metals, which is 21. So again, all we do is take the 17, which is the top one. You go to 17. So that's 17. And you go to the 21. So you go across all the way here. So you always start at the top. And we end where we are at 17 for the top substance, halogenated organics. So then you start from the top, you read down all the way down, and we have H, E that occurs. So that's the consequence of mixing those two. So H is heat generation as well, and we have an explosion. So that's going to be dangerous there. So we have an explosion when we mix the halogenated organics or the metals that are alkaline and alkaline metals. So for our example, when we have amides and oxidized and mineral acids, we said we have not just heat generation. We, do not, we know these do not occur. We had both heat generation and toxic gas formation. So it should be D. And that's it for this. Thank you.